Hey everybody, Phil Town from Rule One Investing here, and today I'm sharing about the emotional rule of investing. Because we're humans, it's natural for our emotions to affect our decisions. And if you want tips and advice on staying objective and rational and making value-based decisions, you just keep watching. All right, so back when I wrote Rule One, um, one of the things I put in there was this idea of the emotional rule of investing. And it's just real simple uh, rule that states, emotionally, you know that if you buy a stock, as soon as you buy it, because you bought it, it's gonna go down. You're gonna lose money. And the emotional rule says, if you don't buy it, then because you didn't, it's gonna go up like a rocket, right? What you knew it would do. So this emotional rule of investing, it comes from my own experience and the experience of every investor I know. Um, to experience emotion influencing your decision making process. And this is something we want to be aware of that it, it's extremely important to know that when you're investing real money, and I'm not talking about Las Vegas money that you're fine. If we lose it, oh, I hate to lose it, but we lost it. It's play money. I'm talking about the money you intend to live on when you're 80. That's serious money and you don't play with that money. And because you don't play with that money, the decisions that you make around it are very, very emotional. They're tied into fear. They're tied into the desire to have more, right? And so we think about emotion as being um, one of the really, really big problems of investing on our own. And that's why so many people give their money to somebody else. They would, honest to God, rather have a mediocre return than to deal with the emotion of managing their own money. It's a serious thing and it really is, is difficult. I've, I've seen people just they don't, they don't even want to open the quarterly or monthly reports coming in from their broker. They don't want to see it. It just goes over there. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to have anything to do with it. I'm just going to hope and pray that somebody's taking care of me and that 30 years from now, I'm going to have a good retirement because I've read a lot of books about investing. And it just says, if you just invest in the market, everything will be okay. Just stay with it no matter what the market does. You're going to need the money someplace in your retirement. And there's where the wheels fall off that particular wagon that you can just put your money in stocks and it's nirvana, everything's gonna be wonderful. That's just not true. There are huge time periods that could crush your retirement plans where the stock market goes nowhere. Zero rate of return. I mean, 1904 to 1921, zero rate of return in the stock market. 1929 to 1955, zero rate of return in the stock market. 1965, 1983, zero rate of return in the stock market. Now we have just had the biggest bull run market in the history of the stock market. Guess what's likely to happen as they start to tighten up interest rates, raise them up as opposed to lowering them down, which they did ever since 1980. They raise them back up. What's gonna to happen to the stock market? 20 years of nowhere could very easily be in your future. And no, no financial advisor is gonna tell you that. Nobody's gonna look at your portfolio and go, oh, well, maybe this time it's different. No, they're gonna give you the same advice, just put the money in there, and you're gonna take that advice because you are like, you know, see no evil, hear no evil. What is it, smell no evil? <laughs> Whatever it is, you don't want anything to do with the evil of money management. You don't want anything to do with it. You're just gonna hand it over to somebody and pray to God that they do what they've been doing to it the last 30 or 40 years. And what if this time is different? So we look at this thing and say, all right, you're trying to take emotion out of it by getting out of the game completely. That is not gonna work. When this market starts going sideways, as it started in 2022, if it starts going like that for a long period of time, the fear is gonna build and build and build. And what I would think is you would wanna be aware of that and realize that, yeah, when you do start to take on your own responsibility for your money, you start to grow up, be an adult, take responsibility for your future, not give it to some moron on Wall Street who could care less about what you're doing. Don't, if you do that, you are going to deal with the emotional rule of investing, but that's part of being an adult. You deal with the fear of life all the time, right? You just are used to it. You're gonna go out there and 
you're gonna raise a family. You don't think that's got fear related to it? You don't remember having a baby? There's stuff that happens out there where it's scary. You're an adult, you can handle this. You just have to make up your mind you're going to. And the emotional rule of investing is there to tell you that you don't have to be afraid. Don't be involved in the emotional rule of investing because you're now gonna control your own investors and your own investments. You're gonna, you're gonna make the decisions about what you're putting money into. And when you do, you're gonna realize that I'm gonna invest in such a way that if I'm going to expect that stock price to go down when I buy it. And it's gonna be a good thing if it does. If it goes up, okay. Not the best thing I wanna have happen, but I'll, I'll live with it. But I'm gonna expect that thing to go down and I'm gonna deal with the emotional rule of investing as a really good investor. Absolutely should. Hey, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you found this video helpful. If you wanna learn more about this specific topic, make sure you read my book, Rule Number One, for tips and advice. Join one of our upcoming workshops. They're linked in the description below.